Hi guys, my name is Tina and this is my very first Let's Play. I am so glad that you guys have decided to check out my channel and I'm hoping that you enjoy my method of playing. I wanted to try a Let's Play because I think that I play a little bit different than how a lot of the Let's Play simmers play their game. So I'm hoping that this will provide a new avenue for people to watch the Let's Plays and to enjoy a different aspect of the gameplay. I will give you a brief introduction about myself. I will tell you that I am a bit older than your average Let's Play gamer. I won't tell you how old I am. I'm not that much older, but I am a bit older than your average player. So I'm hoping that that will also benefit me in, you know, getting people interested in watching my particular channel and and how I play the game. So I love Sims. Sims is my absolute most favorite video game. And I have been playing for quite some time. I won't tell you how long I've been playing. Um, it hasn't been, you know, like longer than some of you have been alive, that's for sure. But I have been playing for a long time and I love Sims. I had all the expansion packs in Sims 2 and a lot of the store content in Sims 2. And I have all of the expansion packs in Sims 3, most of the stuff packs, and a lot of content from the Sims 3 store. So I am a huge fan of the Sims. I also have Sims 4. Uh, I just installed it. I have a MacBook Pro, and obviously it's not a game built for the Mac, at least not right now. I'm hoping that they come out with a Mac version, but right now I am playing it on my MacBook Pro through Boot Camp and Windows so that I can still play it because I do love Sims and I just can't get enough of it. So I'm hoping that you will enjoy my challenges. I do love a good challenge and this particular challenge that I'm going to start with is one that I have been wanting to do for quite some time, but I haven't done it. And I'm hoping that with your encouragement, I will continue this challenge and continue to let it grow and to develop. So let me tell you a bit about the challenge first. So this is a castaways challenge. These six friends are now castaways on this island, which I will pan out and show you the island, is pretty much deserted. There are a few special lots that are left with items on them for my Sims to um, explore later. Like there's a couple over here and there's also a couple somewhere else. I can't remember exactly. I think they're way over here. Um, but these, these particular lots are not gonna be explored by this generation of Sims. But I do have a couple of special lots that I set up for this challenge and they are the Garden of Eden 1 and the Garden of Eden 2. And what I have done in these lots is I have created, I have planted basically a bunch of fruits and vegetables and harvestables so that my castaways can come to this lot and harvest all of the goodies. Now I will tell you that items that are found and harvested from community lots are not allowed to be sold for profit. So anything they harvest from this lot can only be used for food or to replant on their own home lot. And that goes the same for things like gems and space rocks and everything else that you can find within the world, insects, what have you. Nothing can be sold for profit unless it has come off the home lot with one exception, and that is fish. You can fish till your heart's consent and sell all of those items and for profit. 
but everything else must come from the home lot. So it's either going to be fishing. Right now it's going to be the primary thing is going to be fishing and gardening. So I did create this lot here with a lot of harvestable items where they can come in and harvest and also this lot here with a lot of harvestable items as well. Now you do have to use the testing cheats enabled as well as the by debug cheats in order to pl place these these vegetables and plants and whatnot. I've also put a couple of spawners in these this lot here uh, in the water just for a couple extra fishing spots. However, there are a number of fishing spots along this river here, so there's plenty of places to fish in this world. This is an island after all. So let's go down and take a look at our castaways. There are a couple things that you need to do to set up your, your world. First of all, you need to demolish all of the lots because those things are all earned in the future. And I have all of the instructions written up of all the rules that I have come up with and I've kind of used a conglomerate of different apocalyptic challenges that I have seen going on before and just my own creations and whatnot. So if you would like to join in on this challenge, I would love to hear about your experiences as well. And there are a few items that are on the list of the community lots of when you can earn them and whatnot that I haven't um, designated specifically when those items can be ordered or when they can be set up. So if you have if you have ideas on how that can take place, then I would love to hear that feedback as well. There are a couple of things, as you can see, that the castaways get to have as soon as they come onto the, the lot. They get, they get four tents because we don't know if any of these people are going to have attractions to one another. These are just six friends that kind of got on a boat and to go out on a camping trip for the weekend and their boat crashed instead of landing properly and now they are stuck here and there's nothing here. So they basically have to recreate this world and populate the world and, and each time they advance in skills or what have you then things can be then buildings can be built around the city. So they get to have four tents because I figure the girls can sleep together in a tent and the guys can sleep together in a tent until we start forming some attractions with these castaways. They also each get to have a bicycle and their own sleeping bag so that if they need to sleep outside the tent for whatever reason they have a sleeping bag. I also gave a few of them, well almost all of them, some type of toy or something to play with. Uh, this way I'm hoping we'll keep them from using the phone. It doesn't, it's not necessarily going to happen, but we'll see. Anyway, so let's get you introduced to these, to these castaways so that we can, let's actually get them to open their eyes <laughs> so you can see them. So first of off, we have Sarah. And one thing is with these each castaway all of their traits have to be randomized so you randomize your your traits and then you can change up to two traits one of the traits must be eco-friendly and that isn't an effort to keep them from taking taxis everywhere if you don't care about seeing them take a taxi everywhere then that's up to you you don't have to make them eco-friendly, but that means that you can only change one other trait. So I have made all of my castaways eco-friendly and given them the bicycle in hopes that they will use the bicycle instead of taking a taxi everywhere they go. So Sarah is an angler, which is another thing that I recommend. If you are going to change a trait, I recommend that you try and get a couple of anglers and a couple of green thumbs so that that will help advance your skills in those two categories um, a little bit quicker 
because fishing and gardening are going to be your primary source of income for quite some time. So you need to level up those skills rather quickly. Sarah also loves the cold, which is great. Right now we only have tents. She's a savvy sculptor and she loves to swim. Then we have Trevor. Here's Trevor. He is over emotional. He's excitable. He's eco-friendly, obviously. He's a green thumb and he is lucky. And then there is Vivian over here. She is an animal, animal lover. She's artistic, childish, and frugal. And I'm not going to mention eco-friendly each time because I've already told you all of them are eco-friendly. And artistic is the, the trait that I gave her. Ellen here. She is flirty, a great kisser, unlucky, and she's a green thumb, which is the trait that I gave her. Then we have Denver. He is neurotic, good, eco-friendly, ambitious, and an angler, angler. And lastly, we have Max here. Max is a, let's see if we can get a good shot of him. Max is a loner, he's clumsy, he's a green thumb, and he's nurturing. So those are our castaways. And like I said, this first few weeks or the first, at least the first couple of days is going to be all about gardening and fishing. So let's get to the challenge. So we're going to just let them go and, and see what they're going to do. <laughs> they're probably going to check out. Oh, immediately. Farble. Webzy Noble. Max wants to come talk Papa? to Vivian. Or Herbo. He's a vomit. And Odate. Every oh my goodness. See? Yep, they're already showing some love connection over here. So they want to immediately go play frisbee. Let's see. And everybody else seems to be very happy with the tent. They are excited about the tents. Now, I'm going to go ahead and send everybody down to the Garden of Eden number one because we need to get harvesting. And honestly, I'm sending them all in a taxi because they're all... Actually, I know that they're going to take a taxi. But I'm sending them all down together because I just need to get them all down here. And I'm probably going to get interrupted with the university guy and all of that I'm sure and that's one thing that I wanted to mention about the we're not gonna buy a tomato about the non playable character characters in the game see here we go is that we will not be talking to the the newspaper girl or the university guy or anything like that we are going to they're going to be in our town and we'll see them but we aren't going to be talking to them we're going to try to avoid them as much as possible i can turn off the characters i think with the mods that i have but for now i'm going to leave them on um hang on let me pause them so i can get them going on something um i want to get Max, let's get him to start harvesting and to Ellen to get her start harvesting. And, but I want to keep the Sims from talking to them as much as we can. I know it's not going to be completely possible. There are going to be times that it's going to happen, but I'm going to just get these, get these guys queued up. And I think there is another fishing spot down here. Yes. So we're going to get Vivian here. And oh, who did I? Oh, I guess I'm going to have Trevor come over here. Okay. So there we go. So now everybody's queued up to do something. So we're just going to keep the, the non-playable characters open because future generations are going to be able to interact with them. But we're going to try not to. I know, like I said, 
Oh, apparently Max is attracted to Ellen as well. Max is a player. <laughs> and there's that thing. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right into the inventory so it doesn't become a problem. And I'm going to also take this and put that in the inventory. Then we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Back to the game. So Ellen and Max are harvesting to their heart's content. And everybody else is fishing. So let's just take a quick look at them. So this is this is Sarah and Denver. And I believe both of them are anglers. Yes, both of them are anglers. So they're going to catch fish pretty easily. So we're going to keep them all just fishing and gardening or harvesting for a little bit. It seems that they're all starting to get a bit warm. But we're not going to be able to do much about that. What does he wants to do cosmic bowling? It's going to be quite some time before cosmic bowling is invented on this island. <laughs> And there's no skill classes. Um, well, we might do that. I don't know if we will or not. Uh, but the thing is, is you can start purchasing... Oh, that's one thing I forgot to do. Pause this game. We need to take the family funds down to zero. I forgot to tell you that. After you've gotten their essentials, their bicycles, their tents, and everything, you must take their family funds down to zero. And in order to do that, you have to go into testing cheats. And then family funds. And set it to zero. And now we're down to zero. So now we can go back to the game. Um, so what was I saying? <laughs> Got distracted there. So we're going to keep them all here harvesting and fishing for a little bit. Because, like I said, fishing and gardening are going to be our primary sources of income right now. And actually, um, we're going to—we're not going to sell these little fish, the anchovies and whatnot, because they make good meals as well. So we are going to keep the anchovies and the minnows and stuff uh, pretty much for for food. But then once we start catching the more expensive items we will sell them and it's possible that we might uh, sell some some anchovies and whatnot but only if like we desperately need money for something so everybody is just doing what they're supposed to be doing everybody's getting warm I'm trying to give them some opportunities to gain some um, lifetime oh. happiness points. Oh. Huh. There is a oh. lot of things that we won't be able to do until they have they are earned. Uh, for instance, so like in order to put up a science center in the community, we must have one or two sims. One sim, you know, master the the fishing skill and one sim master the gardening skill or you can have one sim master both that would be fine as well but that has to be done before the science center can go up and once and once uh, the science center goes up you must immediately choose one of your castaways to become a scientist so when you, whenever you set up a new community lot then you have to immediately choose a castaway to fill that post and then the idea is to build the relationships with these couples or make them couples and then build their relationships and then have them start families however 
there are going to be a few things that are going to need to happen before you can start families with these castaways. So you, in order to start your first family, you must have some essentials on the home lot. Now, as soon as possible, we are going to want to buy a shower because hygiene is going to be a huge problem. And then as soon as possible after that, we are going to want to buy a toilet. But the, there, there must be essentials on the lot before the first couple can have a baby. And those essentials are a toilet, a tub or shower, a sink, stove, refrigerator, counter, table and chairs, two twin beds or a bunk bed, a double bed, at least one crib, a potty seat, uh, two bedrooms, a, a, a cabin with two bedrooms, a couch or two chairs. So... The lot must have all of those things before the first couple can start a family. So the first step couple starts a family. They have their first child and then they will try for a second child. And then once that child, the first child, well, first of all, the first child is born and then you must put a school up. That's when you can put a school up on a community lot. And again, one of your castaways must become a teacher, preferably one of the castaways that just had a child. Um, and then, okay, Max, we're going to stop that. Okay, so we're going to send everybody home now. So is everybody going to follow Max? Um, so then you have a teacher... And again, like I said, uh, the the teacher is probably best if it's your a teacher that or a castaway that is one of the parents, because you're going to need those other castaways for other careers in the future. So let me just get them going over here to take a nap. And I'm going to put Ellen and Max in the same tent and see what happens. And we're going to put Vivian and Sarah together and Denver. I mean, Trevor, Nap, and Denver. Okay. So everybody's taking a nap. We'll get them taking a nap. Denver, you need to take a nap. So those are the essentials. So once once the 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 second child is born, or once the first child is born, that's when you put your your school up, and then you ha try for a second child. Once that couple is expecting again, then the other two couples must move off the lot onto a brand new lot with nothing and start over from scratch again. So. This first generation is going to be extremely difficult to get going because you need to get all three couples with children before you can really, you know, move on. You know, everybody has to have a, have a house. And they don't have to be anything fancy. They just have to have the essentials. But you can start buying items. Let's see what Max is. Let's see if Max will light this fire. You can start buying items the moment you have money to do so. The only stipulation is there are some things that you can't buy right away. For instance, you can't buy electronics right away because they don't really exist. So I'm going to just give two anchovies over here. And I'm going to get everybody to roast something. Oh, there's some flirting going on there, too. 
So that's Denver and Ellen. Oh, he ate one of his th things in his pocket. He didn't. He wasn't supposed to do that, but that's okay. So here are my castaways having their first meal together. Okay, Trevor, you are supposed to be roasting an anchovy. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've missed something in telling you about this challenge, but I will have... Oh, Ellen's having a, some difficulty. I will have everything written up because I really hope that others decide to take on this challenge as well because I would like to see how you play the game. That's one thing about Sims is that it can be a completely different game just by how it's played. So what's Sarah going to do? Oh, it doesn't sound like they're liking those anchovies very much. Yeah, Ellen, her face, she does not look very happy about eating that. But I do like to watch my Sims a lot. I also like to let them have a little bit of their own uh, free will to see what they decide to do. <laughs> Vivian has a really high voice. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, there's some flirting going on there. So, apparently Ellen likes everybody. She's a player, too. Let's have Trevor talk to Sarah. Ask about day. Uh -huh. Oh, where are they going? Are they playing chase? Uh -huh. What are they running over there for? What's over there that's so important? Okay, let's see. So, Trevor likes Sarah. Let's see if Sarah likes Trevor. That's, uh, I have the, um, the mod where I can ask, consider attractiveness. There was some other attractiveness going on. So that's Trevor and Sarah. And, oh, okay, so Denver and Vivian are attracted to one another as well. So let's have... Okay, so they're, they're hot. They're, let's consider this attractiveness. Okay, so Trevor and Sarah are 10 out of 10. Awesome. I'm going to see about Denver and Vivian. Oh, and they're a 10 out of 10 as well. Okay. Maybe we're going to get really lucky with these couples. What are the chances of that happening? I don't know. So let's find out about these two. We might have our three couples right here. Yeah, they're attracted. We already knew that they were attracted. And they're a 10 out of 10. Awesome. Okay, so we are definitely, those are definitely our couples. So Ellen and Max, Denver and Vivian, Trevor and Sarah. So we'll let them build up their relationships. What are these two doing? Playing chase? Playing tag? 
Well, see, at least they're playing interactive games together instead of being on their telephone. <laughs> Except for these two. What are these two doing? Let's see. He's going to bed, so let's go ahead and... Oops. Let's go ahead and send Ellen to bed also. Oh, she's... I guess she's already going to bed with Max. Are they going to bed in the same tent? No? She should be going to bed in this tent. Let's see if we can get her to go to bed in that tent. Let's see what everybody else is... Um, well, it's getting late, so let's go ahead and send everybody to bed. Let's send Sarah to sleep here along with Trevor. And we're going to let these guys continue to play for a bit. We'll see what they decide to do. We'll s oh, now we're going to have this this issue over here. This is one thing that I don't like about Sims 3 is that they'll stand there forever. All right, how about you go sleep in this tent, and then I'll send him to sleep in that tent with you after you go in there. That's one thing that I have really enjoyed with The Sims 4. And I do hope to eventually do some Let's Plays with Sims 4. But for now, we're going to just work with The Sims 3. <laughs> Let's have her chat with him. Let's have her flirt with him for a little bit. We can be done with the, the, the childish games. We're adults. Zoob. Narfly. <laughs> Let's do a pickup line. It's kind of hard. We need some outdoor lighting. But we have no dollars. <laughs> Not going to happen anytime soon. Compliment appearance. I like to watch their reactions to stuff. So let's see where they take it from there. Oh. They are getting tired, so I do want to send them to bed soon. But we want to have them build up their relationship a little bit. And let me take a look at their ages. Let's look at the all the women because that's who we need to have children. Oh, and that's one thing I forgot to mention to you as well. I set up my options for my my Sims, my aging and whatnot. I set them up to 110 days. And the reason that I do this is because, first of all, this first generation, like I mentioned, is going to be extremely difficult to get started. And because you have to have all the essentials on your lot before the first couple can have a child. So I have extended the adult um, life stage and I mean the young adult life stage and the adult life stage so that those they have a little bit more time. I don't think it's going to be too difficult to get all these couples with children um, in that time frame but these first few weeks is going to be extremely difficult to do that to get all the essentials move the next couple out get all the essentials for them and so forth because it's going to be a while before income is coming in regularly I don't I also put babies down to two because babies what what good are they really they lay in the crib and that's all they do um, and then toddlers I put them at five because again same type of thing and child's at seven teens at 14 and then I adjusted the adult and or the young adult and the adult so that I could get 110 days that's my preferred method also another option is you can turn off winter and fall I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. I need to decide that very soon if I'm going to do that because we don't want to have winter. Um, but if you want to make a, a more difficult challenge because in the winter your plants will go dormant and you won't be able to sell those plants. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn off winter. I'm going to leave fall. I think that you will still have plants go dormant in the fall, but... 
they might not be dormant as long as if they were winter because right, this is a tropical island anyway so you're not going to have many fall days and we could actually even lower this to maybe three days of fall can we do yeah three days is our minimum so three days of fall and then summer um, and actually why don't we adjust these so that we have more days 28 okay so we'll do 28 total days for the year length um, so that it's the same uh, and we'll just adjust summer to 14 fall to 3 and spring to 11 I don't typically do this in my games I don't change the season so I don't know and I do know that um, that the plants go dormant in winter I'm not sure if plants will go dormant with fall because usually I have winter so we'll have to see so those are a few options that you can do in your game as well and I like my um, lunar cycle at 10 only because I hate the zombies um, lately I haven't seen too many zombies in my game I don't know if something changed or maybe I have zombies turned off nope everything's there so I'm not sure um, yeah I I don't know what the difference is but um, lately I haven't seen too many zombies in my Sims 3 games so anyway so let's go back to our our uh, a castaways I think what I'm gonna do is oh she wants to kiss him so let's let him let's let her kiss him real quick and then we're gonna send them off to bed and I'm gonna end the episode um, Oh, we don't even have the option to kiss him yet, so I guess we're going to have to flirt a bit more. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here after they go to bed, and then I will come back with episode number two. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and the prospect of this challenge. And I hope you will come back and, and check out what's going on in the future in, in the future episodes for this challenge. And please feel free to give me your feedback and let me know what you think. And also give me suggestions. Um, I will be taking suggestions for baby names because usually I just use a, baby, a random baby generator, name generator. So I will be taking... Um, suggestions for baby names so if you want to start oh she's got a water balloon fight going so if you want to start giving me that uh those names that would be great i'm gonna go ahead and just send them off to bed um but yeah i'm glad you've decided to check out my channel and i hope you will come back for more thanks for watching